Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and in this video we're going to talk about Power Platform Connection Reference. So I'll start by first explaining what the connection reference is all about and currently it is very Power Automate specific. So I'll show you two examples. One is a Power Automate flow without connection reference and another one using a connection reference in a solution and you'll quickly understand why connection reference is such a useful feature. So stick around, this is very important. But first, here's my intro video. Power Platform currently has over 1100 connectors and that is what's used for your Power Apps and your Power Automate to connect to data sources such as SQL, SharePoint, Outlook. Now a connector is basically a whole combination of Azure API management, where credentials, connector web app and Swagger and APIs are used in. And that is what it is used for these Power Platform services to talk to your data sources. Now we can take this one step forward by using the connection references. So for the connection reference, you have to do it at an, in an environment and it is a very solution centric feature, which means that you can only do it inside a solution. You can't do it in a classic way by building individual canvas apps or individual power automate flows. But using a connection reference is very simple. So you first have to go ahead and create the primary connector. For example, one primary connector for SharePoint and another one for Outlook. And to those connectors, we make a reference call. So you can have multiple Power Automate flows, all of them using SharePoint different connection references, but each of those reference is talking to that same SharePoint connector. And the same thing goes for Outlook too. You can have multiple Power Automate flows, each of those have different connection references for Outlook, but all those connection references are talking to the same Outlook connector. But the main beauty of connection reference is the ability to go and make a change in a single location, in this case, a single connector. So for example, I have got a Power Automate flow, in fact, three of them, and all of them are using that same SharePoint connector. However, we are using connection reference. So one of my Power Automate flows has only got one SharePoint connection reference, while another one has two, another one has three. But here's the beauty. If I want to go ahead and change the connector, say I want to go ahead and make it from a user to a service account or any situation, I want to change the connector. I just have to make it in that single source. And moment I make that change, all of the connection references are automatically updated. That is the real beauty of connection reference. So now that you understand an overview of what connectors are and how connection references leverages connectors, let me go and show you those two examples in Power Automate. So here I am in my Power Automate. I just want to show you one thing to prove a point is that just by looking at the overall flows, the list of flows that you have, uh, you cannot really tell which one of them is using the connection reference versus just the connection. Granted, I've gone ahead and given it a name, but you can't really tell which one it is because all you have is modified and type. You really can't tell what it is. It's just by going inside and taking a look at the configuration and the properties. That's where you understand. So here's my simple flow. It is basically using the classic connection references. So when I click on it, you can see on the top right that there is a property called connections. And these are the two connectors that I have. It has got my Office 365 Outlook and my SharePoint. But the key, key thing is that it tells you that these are actually connections. And building connections is pretty straightforward. You've done this so many times in your Power Automate flow. Uh, you come on the left side. If you don't see your connectors, click on more, go to your connections. In your connections, you'll already see a whole combination of connections that you might already have specific to that environment. And if you want to build a new one, you basically go and click on this side and then start building all these connections. This is how you can go ahead and build those new connections with your connector. This is the easy part. The problem with the connector and the connections is that if you want to go ahead and make a change, you've got to go also inside the flow and make individual changes. And here's what I mean. So if I go back now into my, my flows, um, I go and select this first one, all right? That's the classic one. If I click on it, I actually see all the connections. But now if I go into the edit, once I go ahead and actually make a new connection, say for my Outlook, in my Outlook, I've got a connection tied to my account, but I wanna change it to another account. I go ahead and make a new connection, but once I have done that, I gotta go back inside my flow, and for each and every action that I may have, I gotta make that change. So for example, say I've gone ahead and made a new connection for my Outlook. Uh, if I come into my Outlook, I gotta come over here, and then I will have to make the change from my existing one over to the new one that I have. 
this has to be done manually for each and every action or whatever situation that you went and used your Outlook or in this case, even the SharePoint one, wherever you've gone and made that change, you got to come in and make those changes manually. That is what has to be done right now with the connections tied to a connector. But this is where the beauty comes of connection reference. And I'm going to show you how we can go and do that. So back inside Power Automate, I am no longer going to go to my plus create and start building these classic type of flows. I'm going to go to my solutions. Now I already see solutions over here because I've gone ahead and pinned it. If you don't, it's completely fine. Come to the more and in the more you will actually go and find your solution. And once you find it, go ahead and pin it. That way you don't have to keep coming back and search for it. So I go to my solutions and in my solutions, I will have a bunch of them. So pick and choose which one that you want to start leveraging connection reference. So here it is. I'm basically calling this as Microsoft Power Platform, hence the term MPP. And I'm going to go and inside it. And right over here, you see that I have two cloud flows and I've got some connection references. Well, how do I go and build a connection reference first? Let me just go and show you that. Before you go and create the connection reference, you need to have the connections to it. Because let's face it, that just makes sense. You are referencing something. Well, that something needs to be there first, right? So therefore, go ahead and make your connections. So in my case, I had three of them. I went ahead and used the Office 365 users, the Outlook, and then the SharePoint. So just to be on the safe side, let's go back and take a look. Uh, I'm making sure that in my environments, I go ahead and now go back to my more. I go and take a look at my connections. And in my connections, I should at least have those three of them. Now, I might have multiple versions of them, but either way, I need to have those. So let's go and see. All right, so I'm going to do a quick search. So I actually go and see. I have one. I have a few for my Outlook. Perfect, because I've got them for different accounts as well. Um, I'll go ahead and see one for my SharePoint. Yes, I do have a SharePoint one. And then I also have the Office 365 users. Perfect. I've already got them all set up. So I've got my connections used and now I can go back into my solutions. So I go back into my solutions, go ahead and pick the solution that we are going to use. And once I'm here, I go to the plus new and I go to more and in my more, I go ahead and use connection reference. So when I go to my connection reference, I go up on the top right and give it a name that makes sense to you. So I'm going to say Outlook reference. I don't need a description. This name automatically comes up. So I'm going to leave it at that. But here is where you go and say which connector that you're going to use. Now it gives you this option, which is basically all the connectors, not just the one whose connections that you made, all of them. So it's easy over here. But instead of you scrolling down, instead of you scrolling over here, go and do a search for Outlook. And on the Outlook side, if you go quickly on the top, you will see that there's Office 365 Outlook. I get it that it could have been a little bit easier, but you've got a way to go and find out your Office 365 Outlook. So I'm just going to go and select on it. And then you go and see which of the connection that you did. So it's already telling me that, hey, these are the existing connections that you have uh, for the Outlook. So for example, I might have actually done for my user account, uh, but in the future, I will go and create another one for say a service account. But this is basically how you do it. You've got to have that connection done first before you come in like this and create your connection reference. Make sense? Because this is very important. Good. So I've already created some. I'm going to go and click on close. Uh, but after you created it, you will actually see that your connection reference number will grow. And these are the ones that you have. So we had the connections created first. We went in and created the connection reference. Let me show you the flow. So I've actually got two flows over here. And these are the examples. In fact, these are the exact same two we saw outside as well, outside the solution. So if I go and click on this one, it'll actually first take me inside the properties section where I see the same thing. I see details, don't even run history. You're familiar with all of this. But what did change is on the top right, you now see connection reference. So you see how the previous one, one, let me show it to you. The previous one actually had connections, but now we are inside a solution using connection references. You no longer see the option for connections or the connectors. You just see connection references. And these are the two that we're using. So let me go inside and edit and show you how that looks. Because even inside the flow, you do not see the option to go ahead and pick the connections or the connectors. You only see the connection reference. So this flow has just got a few additional types of actions. I deliberately did that so you can actually see them. Uh, but when I go and click on these ellipses over here, you only see connection references. No longer do you see connections. Again, to prove a point that you're doing it inside of solutions and that you've already gone ahead and created your connection reference. You also have the flexibility to create a new connection reference while you're inside the designer section of the Power Automate flow, which is definitely convenient. Um, so I've got the SharePoint one over here. 
same thing for Outlook as well. I can go ahead and select my connection references. It's basically giving me all the options that I have. So you kind of understand how we can go ahead and make the connection using a connection reference. But the main beauty is if you want to go ahead and make the change. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and close out of this one, go back into our solution and go and change this connection reference. So like I was saying before, all right, I've got this Outlook. In my Outlook, it is right now being using my personal account mailbox. I want to go and change that to a service account type of a mailbox or a do not reply type of a mailbox. First thing you got to do is go outside your solution and create a connection of Outlook with that do not reply service account. Then I come into my edit and in my edit, you go back to the connection, make sure that you see the new connection that you did, select it, go ahead and click on save. It'll say save changes to this reference. Changes will pack all your apps and flows that are dependent on this. Saving changes can take a couple of minutes and can't be undone. Very important thing, all right? So I go and click on the save changes. It does take a few extra minutes to go and complete it. See on the right side, it's saying modify. And after all of this is done, in fact, over here on the last modified too, it just says just now, I am done. I don't need to go inside the flow and change the connections for each and every action. Your flow can immediately start working and take effect. Nothing else needs to be done. That's the beauty of it. Because if you go back into the flow, in fact, if I go back and click on the same one, it'll directly take me back into my properties. And right over here on the top right in the connection reference, you see, see this thing changed. I did not have to come and make the connection inside this as well. And once, and finally, if I go back into my Power Automate flow just to take a look at my entire logic. When I go and take a look at my Outlook once, if I click on it, you will see that that over here changed. Previously, that check was on the top, but it has automatically gone and done this. This is the real beauty of connection reference because changes of your account needs to be done on a single place and it automatically goes and updates the entire flow. And not just one flow, but you may have multiple flows in the solutions and all of them get updated. That is pretty awesome. So hopefully this video helps you understand what a game changer connection reference is. And granted, it's not a one click change for your existing classic flows, but it also gives you the motivation to start using solution based flows and over there start using connection reference so that in the future, if you've got to go and change any of those connections for say your Outlook email belts, go ahead and change the connection and those connection references automatically get updated. Hopefully this video was useful to you. And as always, keep using Power Automate flows with connection reference. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go ahead and put in a comment, either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.